Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys if you have a Kia Optima and you're trying guys to uh, find the fuse for the crankshaft position sensor. Let's say you have a Kia Optima that does not start guys. It cranks but doesn't start. It could be a bad crankshaft position sensor and we will explain okay where the fuse is located. If you had a bad crankshaft position sensor sometimes it can cause that fuse to go bad. Sometimes the fuse just goes bad guys. So always test the fuse first. Then we'll have a special video how to test crankshaft position sensor and also guys okay we're going to try to put the links in the description of the video below and uh, we'll explain why it's super good idea to always test your fuses even if you're replacing them with new ones so make sure to stay until the end these guys should work on Kia Optima guys generation 2010 all the way to 2015 some years may differ but most of them will be that way also let me tell you quick uh, if you have that uh, Kia Optima guys we'll have more than 200 free electrical and diagnostic videos on this channel you're watching right now it's called electrical car repair life and we'll be having more than 300 mechanical videos taking the whole engine apart transmission apart on our YouTube channel world mechanics guys okay world mechanics right here check it out uh, very helpful information will be shared there everything from start to finish videos that will teach you how to practically rebuild your engine in addition if you need to buy any parts tools anything like that we'll share the link in the description of the video below for your convenience why we make all these videos because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can let's start on it now so you can see guys this is 2.4 liter uh, gdi engine 2013 kia optima right here is the fuse box one tap here one there squish pull straight up on the back side you can see the fuses are printed but what we did guys actually uh, we went ahead and we printed the fuse box and zoomed it a little bit so you can see with the great detail okay now what we have right here corresponds to the layout okay right here you can see uh, the fuse guys okay that we uh, specifically okay need to check now okay the fuse that we need to check is a fuse guys okay known as a sensor to fuse this fuse is for multiple things guys that is for the intake runner valve it is for the variable timing perch control valve and crankshaft position sensor multiple function fuse this fuse right here 10 amp fuse so if you come right here it will be this fuse okay right there that you need to check okay right here so how you do it okay go ahead pull the fuse pull grab it okay pull it out like that go ahead release it now we recommend always test the fuses sometimes you think it's a good fuse but it may not be a good fuse guys even if you're replacing it with a new one sometimes you may have a defective fuse so by testing it you will know 100 percent if it's a good or bad fuse and if you don't know how to do that it takes only a few seconds and we'll put a link to a video in the description of the video below that will teach you how to test the fuse super easily guys so check it out it's very simple uh, hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you having that problem thank you for watching and see you next time